Hi guys, welcome to Off The 10th. My name is Chris and today we've got a beer that I was supposed to be reviewing online over at Beer Analysis 101 last Wednesday when Nick, um, Lee, Carrie, Ashley and Greg all got together and got a beer that Redbeard or Carrie was kind enough to give to all of us, which was in turn was actually sponsored and sent to Beer Analysis 101. And it's this beer right here from Full Beard Brewing Company out of Timmins, Ontario. Today we are looking at Drop Bear IPA. Uh, Timmins, Ontario, people think that Shania Twain was born there. She wasn't, she moved there when she was two. I had to check that, but uh, anyway, I wanted to say first and foremost before I even get into this beer, thank you very much to Full Beard Brewing out of Timmins for setting us up at Beer Analysis 101 for this beer and giving us, you know, letting us do our own opinions on it and giving, uh, you know, our scores and stuff like that. And with that being said, today in this Moo Quickie, I will actually be scoring this as if I was on Beer Analysis 101, which I was supposed to do some pre-recorded stuff, send it to Nick, and I fucking totally forgot. But anyway, again, thanks guys at Full Beard. Okay, so what we're looking at today, we're looking at, it's an IPA that's coming in at 6.7% alcohol by volume. It's in a 473 milliliter can and a drop bear. Apparently some kind of weird mythological or a made-up legendary evil koala i guess kind of thing i guess you're supposed to go look online on google do an image search of a drop bear and you will be terrified but anyway we're getting right into this beer right now and uh again sorry nick i couldn't uh i didn't do my recording i'm just a failure in life anyway so we're pouring out oh Looks kind of dark. It's looking like it's going to be some kind of West Coast style IPA. So let's take a look at this. All right. It's cold. There's condensation. It's it's filtered, but not very filtered. It is kind of, uh, yeah, I would say, okay, we're going to say it's a little bit unfiltered. That's cool. Cool with me. Head on this is white head, but just a little bit off white, like kind of like an eggshell kind of head on this one nice carbonation sticking around it looks pretty cool effervescence through that glass let's smell it all right all right we're getting some breadiness a little bit of a caramel sweetness on this one yeah and i'm not picking up much else on that one i don't have a cold or anything so i don't know what's going on with this one anyway let's drink it cheers thanks again Full beard. Okay, this beer is very malt forward, in my opinion. I'm, and it's got a good sweet maltness to it, maltness, maltiness to it. I guess it's um. That's nice. I'm gonna talk about the flavors right now. Well, the, what it does to my mouth, anyway. Right off the hop, it's, it starts off a little bit sweet, then it gets sweeter, and then it dries right out at the finish, which is pretty nice. It's actually making me want to keep going back for more to keep that palate all wet. Settle down, Greg. Um, Mouthfeel on this one, eh, it's a little bit thin. Maybe high end of thin, reach, uh, starting to approach medium body on this one. Yeah, it's good carbonation on this one. It's a little bit spritzy, which is nice and refreshing. This is actually really nice and nice and good cold. Ash was saying he was kind of, I think it was actually was saying on beer analysis, he was picking this up and uh, I think he was picking up some kind of a coin, copper coin kind of thing. And I'm trying to, I'm starting to pick that up too. It's giving me that little bit of a copper coin kind of taste. But yeah. It's got some brightness in it, like I like I got off the nose. Um, I want to say biscuity. Joe uses that a lot. Biscuity. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually quite nice for an IPA, West Coast style IPA. This is what I'm getting on this one. 
Guys, on, on the beer analysis, I guess they were trying to start to get into the English style IPAs. I'm not really picking that up, and I'm, uh, I'm not a huge fan of the English style IPA. Sorry, over there, guys, in, in England. But this for me is coming off more of a West Coast style IPA, and I dig that. This is nice. It's different than what I've had for, you know, the longest time. I've been drinking a ton of juice bombs, a ton of stouts, porters, even some Christmas stuff. This is actually quite nice and quite refreshing. And it's hitting my palate like it's been missing in my life. Anyway, it's got good carbonation. Anyway, it's giving me nice burps. All right, so for style on this beer, I'm going to give this one out of 10 because that's how we scored it over on Beer Analysis 101. I'm going to give this one a straight up 8 out of 10 for a West Coast style IPA. I'm digging it. It's kind of nice. Personal preference. I like this. It's refreshing. It's it's kind of bringing me back to my my early days of doing beer reviews when I was getting into the IPAs and before hitting all the juice bombs and stuff, all the East Coast, uh, sorry, all the uh, New England style IPAs. This West Coast style IPA is actually hitting the mark. I like it. It's really nice. My own personal opinion on this one, I'm going to give this one an 8 as well. So that's it. My own opinion, guys. If you can find it, there are some beers in the LCBO from Full Beer Brewing out of Timmins. But unfortunately not this one. You can't really get this one in the LCBO, but maybe they might drop it. Who knows? But anyway, guys, I dig it. If you can find this beer, where is it? There you go. If you can find it, guys, drink it. It's well worth picking up and trying out. 6.7%. Super dangerous. Can't even detect any of that alcohol anyway. I'm done. Sorry, Nick, again, for not joining you on beer analysis and even uploading a whole bunch of videos, but I thought I didn't, you know, do throw in my own numbers anyway, and maybe we'll change up the scores. But anyway, thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, if you guys have had this, let me know in the comments below. If you're planning on buying it and trying it, come back, let me know in the comments. Other than that, like the video, subscribe, hit that notification bell, guys, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Bye.